So today is the last day in my car and I'm having bittersweet feelings about this. If you don't know me, my name is Angel K and I have been vlogging my journey since moving out of Atlanta. So I know a few people have been asking me like, where are you moving to? What are you gonna do? Like, what's your plan? I'm gonna answer that in this video, but obviously I'm selling my car as you can tell by the title of this video. It's not clickbait. Um, this isn't like a little prank like this is serious i'm selling my car because it's just it's time it's time um yeah i guess i'll take it back from when i moved so i am back home i know i said in my last video that like oh i'm not moving back home that's not happening no I'm, I'm back home i'm back home i am in jersey i can't lie it's been cool like the first few weeks of me being here has been really really nice like having the support around my family is something i didn't even know that i needed and then getting to go out with my best friend and just catching up with her like really seeing her in person even though she she visited me in atlanta a couple weeks ago <laughs> like the end of july she was in atlanta visiting me so it's not like i haven't seen her in too too long but you know it's been nice just having her so close to me and around and my family as well like it's just it's been it's just been exactly what i needed because in atlanta i was just feeling so alone i was feeling just feeling a little like lonely like i was feeling so alone and it's kind of my fault because i isolated myself from everybody but also I don't know, I got PTSD. I got so much PTSD from people. So anyways, I decided to just come back home because I was like, you know what? Like, what am I, what am I even doing here? Why am I trying to hold on to Atlanta so bad? Acting like I can't go back home. Like, it was just a very dramatic. I gotta say the real reason I didn't, like I was so hesitant to move back home was because I didn't want to feel like I'm moving backwards. I always felt like if you move somewhere and then you move back home, you're like moving backwards. And nah, I don't necessarily feel that way anymore because now that I've been home and I see how much, I feel like I've progressed internally. I'm not feeling like it was a backwards movement. This is a very forward, very necessary thing that I was supposed to do. The thing is, I've been letting go of a lot of things. And the reason I'm selling my car is because I don't need it anymore. And it's super expensive. So it's $450 for my car note. I know it's not the highest. I know some people who pay like $700 for their car. I mean, if you got it, you got it, like that's cool. But the problem is that with my car note, my insurance is also like 350. So 450 plus 350 is $800. I feel like I should be paying that in rent. Not to mention my rent was $2,000, which we're not even gonna get into, but just in general, like having my car note and my insurance has been so much on me that I actually turned off my insurance a couple months ago. So now that I'm selling my car, I can say this freely. I was driving without insurance for a few months because $350 in insurance when I'm not even getting into accidents, I'm not even like, I'm a very safe driver. I can be a little like, you know, behind the wheel. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm very safe. I'm very safe. I'm very precautious. I just felt like $350 every month. It's just excessive. It's very excessive. So I actually turned off my insurance and I drove all the way down here with no insurance, which is very, very dangerous. Now that's not safe, that's dangerous because these cops, especially through like North Carolina, through the Carolinas in general, North Carolina, South Carolina, all like, I feel like the Southern states, they be on it a little bit. So I was driving the speed limit, so bored, like 13 hours straight. Even being here in Jersey, these cops be lurking. They be lurking so hard, I even forgot how bad it is. And it's just unsafe but I don't wanna turn my insurance back on. I'm not trying to pay $800. I just, I have so much to say about the American system. This whole thing, like I'm at a point where I really want to turn everything off. Like I really just, I wanna get rid of all my attachments and possessions and I just wanna go off the grid. That's what I want because I don't, care about materialistic stuff like I really and truly don't do I want to live in a nice environment yes do I want to have nice things yes do I want to go nice places of course but like at what cost 
at the cost of my mental health, having to work jobs that I don't even, I can't even wrap my mind around what it means to be an adult in America. Like it's actually insane to know that we're putting in so many hours into these corporations just to put the money back into the corporations. Like it's, it's, hmm. <laughs> What's the right word? Not only is it depressing, it's it's just pure insanity. This whole American system, the way everything is built, is so hard for you to make it. And anyways, let me not get into let me not get into all of that. So anyways, yes, it is too expensive and I actually I have been thinking about this for a while I don't want y'all to think this is a super impulsive decision like I have been thinking about this for almost a year now I want to say last year in November I was really thinking about selling it but the problem is that living in Atlanta that's a dumb decision you can't be in Atlanta without a car like that's I mean unless you're really in the city like maybe you live by Atlantic Station where the grocery store is right there you got shopping malls or shopping centers right next to you like if you got everything you need within your little circle and like the city's right there then maybe but that wasn't the case for me i lived on the outskirts so unfortunately i could not get rid of my car yet but i've always been looking like online they let you look at the payoff quote and i've always been like damn if i could just if i could just pay that off so i went through carmax and they offered me sixteen thousand six hundred dollars let me show y'all the paper so this is how much they offered me sixteen thousand six hundred i did it twice they offered sixteen thousand four hundred the first time and then i did it again they offered an extra 200 so of course they went with the extra 200 then the payoff quote is less than that i don't want to say how much because like i find it weird to just be talking numbers on here i'm actually gonna miss her so bad like i'm gonna miss all the fun times we had you know just jamming in the car that's one thing like i was driving here well i was driving here and i was mainly talking to myself because as y'all can see i love to talk but i am gonna miss like when i'm you know when you just have those long car rides and you just jam and you got the 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 music super loud it's just you in the car you just you know you listen to hannah montana you know you listen to the cheetah girls you just, you just listen to whatever you want to listen to it's just you and a vibe you just singing at the top of your lungs like it's just a vibe just like having your own car like it's just convenient to just be able to get to wherever you need to get to but at what cost eight hundred dollars a month no and then another thing too is like when I am traveling and going places, I've been thinking in my mind, like I might as well drive because I have a car and if my car stays at my mom's house, it's just gonna be there. You know, like what's the point of it? I don't feel like it's necessary. The funny thing is like, I got rid of my apartment and I'm getting rid of my car now. Well, I didn't get rid of my apartment, but obviously like the lease was up, but I got those two around the same time frame. So when I signed my lease, I also got my car like the same day. And so it's just funny now, I moved out of my apartment like last month, now I'm getting rid of my car. It just feels like a new chapter in my life. And I know it may seem crazy to some people and it may seem like I'm just doing random bullshit, which like I get because I've been questioning myself as well. But I just also feel like when you know something within you is the right thing to do, when you you know having your dreams and visions like i don't talk about spirituality too much on my channel which i maybe want to start doing but i'm very i'm very spiritually in tuned and when god is speaking to me and he's giving me signs and you know just the universe is telling me like my next step in my life i have to listen because there's been a lot of times where i don't listen and then my life goes to shit. So we're not gonna wait until that. I'm actually gonna go inside CarMax now. Oh my God, should I say my goodbyes? <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic, but like this is a dramatic moment. Hi. By the way, do you mind if I vlog? Do you think? Um, That's tough. Okay. I'm actually a photographer. Really? Yeah, I have my, I have my page on Instagram. So what's the per diem? I don't understand what that is. So that's like the daily fee after um like if it doesn't get paid in that amount, there's interest they, they charge on you know, 
on the payoffs. Oh. Yeah, so it's so good for 15 days, yeah, and anything after, that's the daily fee after. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they would charge us if we don't pay it within the 15 days. They would charge you guys? Yeah, Carmen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you have the registration? I do. It's in the car, though. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Okay. Anything else you need? Um, no, nah, but, um, do you have all your stuff in the car already? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just need to register. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. So I just had to get my registration from the car, which this is just so bad. I sound like a criminal, but I have my registration, but it's expired, which I don't think it's going to matter. Like, they're not the fucking cops. But <laughs> um, the reason, the reason, the, the, the reason that the registration is expired is because when you don't have insurance in Georgia, they will suspend or expire your registration whatever the word is to expire registration that's what they do i was stopped one time and he was like and it was so embarrassing because i was with somebody and they were like the cop was like oh um he was like i ran your plates and your registration is expired did you happen to switch insurances because usually that happens when you switch insurances they will expire your registration or whatever so i was like oh yeah yeah I, I changed insurances. I feel like he was letting me off because he knew I just didn't have insurance. But anyways, that's what they do in Georgia. So not only did I not have insurance, my registration was expired. And damn, I parked so far. It's because I was trying to get this sun. So it's a loan. And okay, I just want to make sure because we had a confusion. I thought it was a lease. Okay, so it's a long. All right, all right. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. So does that change anything? No, thank God we, we didn't go too far because uh -huh. yesterday I, I had a situation where the lady, it was a loan. Yeah. And my manager told me to put it on a lease and it created a whole big problem. Oh, okay. But think we didn't go far enough, so even that paper that I was going out, I don't even need to do. So it's it's better that it's a loan, it's a less you know headache. But um, do you know any of these car maxes like Stockbridge? Like what was closer to you? You think North? Where I lived, or yeah, where the car yeah, was? Where you lived? Where you North lived? Cross. Cross? Right, I'll just call them because I, have, I have, they have to run a CRV for me. What's that? Um, they just check the registration, and um, I get the uh information off the title and stuff like that just to verify and things like that what happens if the registration's expired um how long expired a few months maybe this one says october 13th 22. yeah but it's expired still yeah i mean no. I, I don't think it should be a problem okay Hey, yeah, it, it was a loan. I thought it was too. <laughs> me too. Don't be trying to call me out. No. This process is actually longer than I thought. Um, he's gonna go outside to secure the vehicle. All my stuff is out, so then when he comes back, we're just gonna sign the documents and then I'm gonna call my Uber and get the fuck out of here. I feel like I've been here so long. I need my hair done. Like, literally, I'm gonna go home and just take this out. Like that. Okay, so I just need your signature here and your social, the full social on the bottom, okay? This is the bill of sale stating here. So I am officially done with the whole process. It's a little cold out here. I was gonna bring a jacket, but I was like, no, I'll be done in like an hour while the sun is still out. But anyways, um, yeah, the whole process was easy. These people are really loud. But yeah, the process was easy. It was, um, it was just a little bit longer than I expected, but the person that helped me was 
really nice and he was asking me about being a content creator and stuff because he was a photographer so a little nice conversation while i waited but right now i'm just waiting for my uber and i just i feel so like free right now i feel i feel like i can finally think about future plans without having to feel like i gotta take my car everywhere with me because i'm paying for it so that feels good i feel like i don't have as many bills right now and i could just literally live life and i don't know just just live life and not have to worry about anything right now i just don't want to have to be responsible i just i i don't want to i don't care how that sounds to anybody i know i'm an adult but yeah i'm just waiting for my uber right now then i'm gonna go back to my mom's house and you know go to sleep but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see y'all in my next video